We all know that Kim Kardashian and Taylor Swift's relationship has always been like a wild roller coaster ride. From their beginnings in 2009, where Kim Kardashian said that she admired Taylor Swift, to 2016, where Kim and Taylor had a major public feud, it has never been normal. But now, after Taylor gave a speech in, in December 2023, after she received the Person of the Year Time Award, and she talked about the time she had a major dispute with the Kardashians, Kim is furious. Kim even went this far to say that she is determined to destroy the relationship between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. At least that's what an insider to the Kardashians has revealed. And as you can imagine, this left fans furious. But what exactly happened? What did Taylor Swift say about Kim Kardashian in her speech? And even more importantly, how will Kim try to destroy Taylor's relationship with Travis? This is exactly what we are going to find out in today's video. So make sure to stick around until the end of the video so you don't miss a single juicy detail. Also, before we dive in, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss another celebrity drama. Most of you probably know about the drama between Taylor Swift and Kanye West. For those of you that didn't let me give you the 30 second rundown, so we are all on the same page. Basically, it all started at the VMAs in 2009, when Taylor Swift received an award for the best female video production of that year. While she was giving her speech, Kanye jumped on the stage, took her microphone away, and said that he is going to let Taylor finish in a second. But then he started talking about Beyonce and that she had one of the best videos of all time. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. After that, Taylor was extremely confused and she didn't know what to say. And everybody started hating on Kanye to the point where he even had to apologize publicly. Ever since then, there has been a lot of drama and because I don't wanna bore you, I'm going to skip about 10 years of beef. However, if you are interested in hearing the entire timeline of the drama and what exactly happened, make sure to stick around until the end of the video and I'm going to link you a video that shows you exactly what happened. Now in 2016, Kim Kardashian joined the entire drama when Kanye West released his song Famous. In the song, he has a very delicate line about Taylor where he raps. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. As you can imagine, this song caused a lot of controversy, and it also caused a huge backlash among Taylor's fans that just thought that this was absolutely not okay. However, instead of apologizing, Kanye released a tweet on Twitter, which is by the way now deleted that said, I called Taylor and had an hour long convo with her about the line, and she thought it was funny and gave her blessings. It quickly turned out that this was a lie, and Taylor's media spokesman said, Kanye did not call for approval, but to ask Taylor to release his single Famous on her Twitter account. She declined and cautioned him about releasing a song with such strong misogynistic message. Taylor was never made aware of the actual lyrics. And if it wasn't already bad enough, Kim started to jump in and she tried to defend Kanye from all the hate he was getting and from Taylor Swift. However, she did it in a very weird way and got involved in a way nobody has asked her for. At first, she started by claiming that Taylor is the one lying and that Kanye actually asked for approval for the lyrics. And right after that, she started posting tons of snake memes saying that Taylor is a snake. For example, she posted on Twitter, wait, it's legit National Snake Day? They have holidays from for everybody. I mean, everything these days, followed by a bunch of snake emojis. However, that wasn't enough for Kim and to prove that she and Kanye are right, she caused social media to go crazy by posting a Snapchat video of Kanye during the phone call with Taylor. Apparently he was asking her for permission. However, the video is heavily edited, and the only thing that can really be heard is saying, I think this is a really cool thing to have. And then, according to Kim's recording said, I know, it's like a compliment, kind of. Yeah, I mean, what's dope about the line is it's very tongue-in-cheek either way. And I really appreciate you telling me about it. That's really nice. And because of this recording, the entire mood on the internet changed, and people started calling Taylor a liar. And countless people jumped on the train to call Taylor a snake. This was followed by people mocking her, like Kim did, with snake memes. This time, Taylor decided to not let her spokesman make the statement, and she made said herself, that moment when Kanye West secretly records your phone call, then Kim posts it on the internet. Where is the video of Kanye telling me he was going to call me that bitch in his song? It doesn't exist because it never happened. She then continued by saying, being falsely painted as a liar when I was never given the full story or played any part of the song is character assassination. I would very much like to be excluded from this narrative, one that I have never asked to be a part of since 2009. And following this, Taylor Swift was gone for an entire year and she stopped commenting on it. Now, if you are wondering what she did in that year, we are going to talk about that in just a second. However, despite Taylor's break, she didn't quite heal from this. 
and in the following years she started firing shots against Kanye and Kim multiple times. But in 2020, the real version of the phone call was finally released and let me tell you it was nothing like Kim tried to portray it in the public. As you can imagine, this caused countless of people to apologize to Taylor and the hate shifted towards Kim. Following that, Kim tried to twist the reality. And Kim tried to say that it was just that the phone call took place and that it was not about what was talked about. Fans didn't buy this and most people took sides with Taylor. After this, the entire thing cooled down. And while there were a few shots fired, there was no major outage. But just now in December, 2023, the entire thing shifted again. And after being nominated the Time Person of the Year, Taylor Swift talked about this topic again. I listened to the interview and I didn't have the feeling that Taylor intended to shoot shots at Kim or Kanye, but it more felt to me that she wanted to just talk about her point of view and how she felt in the entire situation. During her speech, she said, it felt like a career death. Make no mistake, my career was taken away from me. She then added, you have a fully manufactured frame job in an illegally recorded phone call, which Kim Kardashian edited and then put out to say to everyone that I was a liar. That took me down psychologically to a place I've never been before. I moved to a foreign country. I didn't leave a rental house for a year. I was afraid to get on phone calls. And then it got really sad and she said, I pushed away most people in my life because I didn't trust anyone anymore. I went down really, really hard. However, Kim took that extremely bad and according to insiders close to the Kardashians, Kim is not happy with how Taylor brought this old topic up again, especially because Kim said in the meantime multiple times that she just wanted to defend Kanye and never had a personal problem with Taylor. And even though she said this according to the insider, in the next sentence she started threatening Taylor, saying that she now really wants to hurt her, the same way she is feeling hurt that Taylor called her a liar. And Kim apparently believes that the best way to take revenge on her is to cause a breakup between Taylor and Travis. To be exact, the insider said, she came up with a plan to get her own back by using her connections in the sport world to break up Taylor and Travis. Kim can't believe that she buried the hatchet with Taylor only to have her turn on her like this. She's ready for war. And the threats against Taylor didn't stop there. And apparently, Kim went into extreme detail on how she wants to do this. Therefore, the source added, Kim is friends with so many guys in the NFL world, like Odell Beckham Jr. to pass on any dirt they have about Travis and sit up trouble. And from that point, it gets more and more evil. And the source said, she even reckons she can get to the same event as Travis when Taylor is out of town. Flirting or being pictured with him might just torpedo the whole romance. Or she can send in one of her girlfriends to do the job. Now, I don't know about you, but to me, this sounds extremely psycho. We all know Taylor already had to break up with Maddie Healy in 2023 because he got so much bad press and people started canceling her era's tour tickets. And on the other side, we know that the Kardashians are known for their inside jobs in the media because Kris Jenner has such good connections to TMZ and all other outlets. So she definitely has the potential to spread a ton of rumors about them. I mean, just look at the past. There have been so many rumors that were spread about people that had beef with the Kardashians and their entire reputation was basically ruined. To me personally, it seems that the love between Taylor and Travis is incredibly strong and that they are very serious. However, I'm not sure if it's that strong to survive constant media attacks with rumors and lies about Travis and that he might be flirting with other women. So therefore, I don't hope that something like this will happen. But we also know what Kim is capable of doing, so we definitely need to wait it out. If the rumors that the source spread are true, and even more importantly, if Kim is really able to cause a breakup between them. Now, I'm super interested in hearing your opinion on this entire topic. Do you think Kim will take revenge and she will try to cause a breakup between them? Or do you think that even if Kim tries, she won't be able to because Taylor and Travis are just such a good team? Let me know down in the comments and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you never want to miss another celebrity drama. With that being said, thanks for watching and until next time, 